Hello. So we do have another game here. Um, this is again me, you know, playing mech. Except, you know, this one's mech against Protoss. Um, this guy's a Diamond Protoss. Um, and then, of course, you know, I was in Platinum at the time, but I haven't played it a bit, so I got, uh, you know, I got to put, put into a lower league, but, you know, that's not the point. Anyways, let me just speed this up. Um, um, so a lot of, you know, people, when I look on forums and such, you know, they don't like the idea of going mech against Protoss. Um, you know, they always think, oh, well, the Protoss will just go Immortals and win. Um, but, of course, that's not the way StarCraft works. I assume they have this uh, SCV sitting there idle. But StarCraft isn't like rock, paper, scissors. It's not just, oh, well, he has Marines, let me just go Banelings and win. Or until he splits, and then you can't kill the Marines, and then you lose. Um, and basically, you know, this just shows that, um, you know, mech is still good against Protoss. It's just, you need to play, you know, play it right. You know, I just start with the Reaper. I always go Reaper against Protoss. Um, it's pretty good because I get to see the whole base. I've seen the two stalkers and the two stalker rush, so I knew that there was, or the three stalker rush, rather. Let me just uh, turn this down a bit. Um, so I do see the three stalkers coming, and of course I have to on my CC. Once I get my first factory uh, up and running, that's when I always throw down my CC, my second CC, and get a gas. Um, my my CC was actually up before hit, so that's good. And then of course I just defend with Widow Mines earlier on. This isn't a, really a build that I just that I got, you know, from somebody. I kind of like, well, you know, Widow Mines are good, so I'll just open Widow Mines and just you know see what happens. Because um, unless he does some, you know, some stupid, I don't know, like drop play or something, well then the Widow Mines, you know, they work pretty well if they're at the front. Um, I don't know why I made these bunkers, because I didn't really have any barracks. This barracks was specifically for making add-ons, as you can see, and then I made another factory on top of that. Um, you know, the Protoss is just, uh, you know, expanding. Um, what Protoss doing, what, he's, what they do best, they just expand and then just get Colossus super early, um, which is kind of silly, especially when you don't really know, you know, what the other guy is doing. Did he even see... Okay, yeah, so he didn't even see any barracks at all other than the one mine. Or he didn't see any uh, factories other than the one mine. So, uh, and this is like when I, even when I um, play against Protoss on ladder, this is what they always do as well. They kind of just blindly go Gateway Colossus, you know, without anything else. Um, but of course this guy, you know, he's in Diamond and he was getting, you know, pretty close to Masters too for Protoss. So I guess, um, I guess it's fine. But he does see all the mines that I have there. Um, all right, let me just look at what I have. Starport, um, I always get for Ravens, which is especially good against Protoss, and you'll see why. I'm um, getting early upgrades, taking my third. I don't see, you know, that he has a third yet. Um, these rocks, I originally thought that they would get destroyed. But, uh, obviously that's not the case. Um... I think I killed the observers here. I like this map, and it's a shame that I got taken out of the map pool. You know, because I put up these towers, so you get to see here, and then you get to see here, and then you know you can just have units in this general area. You know, and then you're pretty well protected with three bases. Um, you know, so it's really good for. Um, well, that's mainly why I like this map because it's really good for that kind of thing. So I do scan. I see three Colossus. Um, you know, that's just normal for Protoss, because that's just what they do. They just spam Colossus all day. Um, got my four factories, which is normal for two bases. You know, like, if you watch HTML Mario, then he'll tell you that, all right, get two bases. This should have been a factory, or a tech lab, instead of two reactors. Um, but for some reason, when I play, I have a lot, a lot of extra money. So in this case, I decided just to, you know, try that and see how it is. Um, again, I didn't even know about these. I thought those would collapse, even though they're not actually collapsible rocks at all. Let's see what he's doing. So he does have, he's actually getting his fourth now, before I do. Um, you know, but I throw down these extra CCs because, you know, I have a lot of money. 
Um, one of mine, just to. Uh, you know, I was just gonna plant it there, and then I. Same that I was unable to do that. Um, DTs. So he's getting DTs out. Um, another scan. See more Colossus, of course. I think I move out here pretty soon. Yeah, here we go. Here's, this is where I actually I uh, go in stitch up on his base. Um, this this battle was, you know, it was pretty good in my side. And then this is, you know, why I always go Raven. And you'll see in a moment here. So I do siege up. The mines were in a horrible spot. You, you definitely shouldn't have them that close to your units at all. And definitely kind of, uh, you know, f things over. Okay, and then he approaches. And let's just look at the supply. About the same. The mines all die, but they, you know, they did all their damage first. Threw out some point defense drones, and then kind of just sat there with the uh, the colossus with the stalkers, or sat there with the Vikings. I mean, and then you know his colossus just all died, and then meanwhile the tanks are doing all the damage because nothing else is really doing anything other than the colossus. Um, so I do kill that. You know, I kill that off. You know, I'm pretty far. I'm ahead in the the units lost. He does have more workers than me, and he is farther. You know, on bases. Although I do kill this off, but uh, the funny thing is that uh, he has one stalker and one dark templar, and that's it. Oh, and one zealot, I guess too. But then you know, I have all this. You know. These are kind of useless, so but I still could have at least landed them to help, but I basically could have went over there and like sieged up here or something and maybe even killed them. Except, of course, I didn't. I'm usually so used to um, when you're ahead, which I was clearly ahead, you know, get more ahead, so that's why I just took another base there and took another base here. This is a plan to reinforce, of course, because his base is just right up the way there. Floating barracks because I don't need it anymore. I already made my add-ons. I did make um, some new factories here as well. Tech labs and reactors. Lots of halibats and Vikings and ravens and tanks. That's basically what you need. This is just basically how you play mech because even if he does have immortals, um, they'll never reach the tanks. Because there's so many halberds in the way, um, and of course the Vikings are good against Colossus. Just, you know, you know, just the, this and that itself is good against Robo. Yeah, my macro is my micro is really bad, so I kind of botched this completely. But uh, Mech is pretty good at here, so I, you know, I still did pretty really decent. These guys are too far up. I should have moved them back, or at least brought the tanks up. Yep, and uh, I think I, you know, stayed here too long. Those Zealots. You know, the splash from my tanks killing the Zealots helped kill my Hellbots too. Um, so once again, you know, that was an even trade, which of course you should never really even um, trade with mech considering your units are a lot more expensive, which is why, you know, I have way less money than him, and yet we have the same, you know, general income. So now the the entire map is uh, taken. We're getting to a pretty long macro game here. Um, yes, I am forgetful with this. What else should I have should I have done? I think Zealots came in through here earlier. Lots of high Templars. Um, after this game, I was talking to him, and he was actually, you know, telling me. Um, Oh well, you know I like high templars because then you can storm the Colossus. But like I don't know, I didn't didn't really think it's worth it because you know they're really heavy on gas when you could just be going like void rage or something else. Oh, yeah, I scanned right when he was going across, so I just backed off. Lucky for me, he didn't see my base. Yay! Lucky for me, got here right in the nick of time, and then he just got scared and backed off. So, so I am, you know, I'm still ahead at this point. Let's see your upgrades. Um, 
you know, he has, you know, th about 3-2, and I have 2-1, so he is ahead on upgrades. He is being really bold and taking this gold here. Um, moving up the side here. Running by with the Hellions. Lots and lots of High Templars. The Storms are so... I don't know. <clears throat> They're really good against, the, you know, all of the, uh... They're pretty good against the Hellbats, even though the Hellbats have a lot of health. Um, and that's the main reason why, you know, it's not really good against Mech, like, in my opinion. Because they still have so much health, and you have to do multiple storms, and then... Um, I mean, this is bad, Mike, I didn't really siege up in time, because I didn't even know that, that, that they were there. Yeah. But yeah, like, storming tanks and storming, um... The Hellbats, like they have so much health, they just, you know, and then you got to sit there and wait, and then the tanks are in the back. I don't know. And yeah, the tanks are still, you know, partially alive. Like even though it wasn't even true, I think it would have been more, better to, you know, invest that gas like 100 gear, like 300 gas, 600 gas. That was like 900 gas or so. Um. That you spend on high templars, you could have, you know, at least put it in void raids because, of course, air is really good against the mech, um, and then at least it punishes, you know, Terran players considering most of their army is just, uh, you know, tanks and halbats. Um, but I find this is another, another pretty even trade. One archon left. <laughs> Random counterattack uh, with stalkers here. Um, throwing down some more. You know, more of these, of course, you know, ravens are good. I think the reason why I didn't do too well in this game is maybe I made too many ravens. Because I spent so much gas, you know, spent so much gas on, you know, ravens, and that could have been, you know, more into other units, for example. Um,. Yeah, next time I definitely need to not make as many ravens. Like, just have ravens for support, like point defense drone, but just not make too many for like seeker missile, because then he can just, you know, easily, um, you know, use feedback on that. Another um, fight. Storms everywhere. Another even trade. Okay, our, our, you know, our upgrades are about the same. And this is the first time that I've actually seen this gold as well. Um, you know, which kind of sucks because I didn't even have it the whole time. And I don't get how he has so many minerals. Like, yeah, I've lost 5,000 more, but that doesn't, you know, explain why he has this much. Unless, um, you know, tanks, they are, you know, the mineral to gas ratio is kind of the same. But then yet, uh, gateway units is just a lot, you know, it's really heavy on minerals, but the gas isn't as much. So then he has a lot more gas left over, even though he has all those minerals too, which I'm actually surprised. But I guess then he has 100 workers, which is way too much. And of course, he's just uh, out macroing me here. Um... And basically, you know, this is a final engagement. Um, end up losing. You know, that's a really tight choke. Um, and like you see here, I have no gas to do anything. Uh, so like, I spent too much on ravens. I couldn't really have enough gas later on to afford anything else other than hellbats. Um, so then he kept on every time we traded. You know, it, it was kept on, it was an even trade, which of course you can't really do as mech versus Protoss, just because, you know, your units are so much more gas heavy. And well, I know that there's Colossus and Archons and stuff, but, like, um, you don't really mass those, like, you know, you do, like, with, compared to the tank production, where it's just constantly, what, like, 125 gas every time, and you're making, like, you know, four or five at a time. Um, and on top of that, the Ravens and the Vikings are pretty heavy on gas, too. Um. But yeah, next time I definitely need to just, uh, um, 
spend my minerals or spend my gas more wisely so this doesn't happen. It's kind of a shame that I need to just, just two. If I have a giant advantage like I had over here, when he only had about two units left, then I definitely would have, uh, I could have, you know, won or released, you know, put him so far behind that I would have, um, you know, I would have ended up winning later. But uh, I guess that's it for now. So uh, thanks for watching.